Hi, how are you? I hope you are having a fantastic day. Today we're going to talk about cryptocurrency. We're going to talk specifically about the 994 dead cryptocurrencies and which ones will be next. So, actually before I go there, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. I am not smarter than you. You are smarter than you realize. Do not trust what I say. Do your own research. So this website is called Dead Coins. In fact, the actual website is dead, D-E-A-D, coins, C-O-I-N-S, dot com. And this website is really dedicated to discovering and, and publicizing dead coins, the cryptocurrency vigilantes platform. Not sure what they mean by that, but it is a catchy phrase. So when you click here on the full list, this lists all the cryptocurrencies that they have in their database. And we can see that today they have over 1,779 cryptocurrencies. Now, if I scroll back up to the top here and I clicked on deceased, then according to their database, these are 994 dead coins. And so why is that important? Well, it's important for a number of reasons. A lot of people that I hear from, talk to, they're really into coin XYZ. And they think coin XYZ is going to go up a thousand percent or you know, a thousand times their money and, and different things like that. They think it's it's super wonderful, super excellent. It has all of these great things going for it. But the thing that we need to keep in mind is that since the uh, 2017 initial coin offerings, that over 60% of those coins are now dead. Six, 60% of those coins are now dead. Those are those are coins that there are a lot of people out there who bought those coins and now they can't use them. You know, now now there's nowhere to trade them, there's nowhere to exchange them. They've they've bought the coins and now those coins are just dead. So how do we keep that from happening to ourselves? How do we make sure that if I buy a coin, that coin is going to be around long term. Well, the first thing is, is we need to make sure that we're, we're investing in solid projects. A lot of these coins, well, there were quite a number of coins that went through an initial coin offering and never gained enough momentum that they were even offered on any particular exchange. And then there were others that, that got listed on exchanges but their volume was so low that they ended up getting delisted from those exchanges. And so the first thing is, um, if you're buying an initial coin offering before it's actually listed out on an exchange, be very, very cautious. Only use money that if you lose 100% of that investment, it's not going to bother you. You'll be like, well, hey, we, we thought it had a great opportunity, didn't work out, I'm not a big deal to me. And if you can't have that not a big deal and walk away from whatever money you invested in that initial coin offering, then don't make that investment. Check with your financial planners. Uh, uh, get a financial advisor and, and talk to somebody who has some experience with initial coin offerings or with businesses before you know going from private to public or you know something like that that's familiar with you know, what kinds of risks you're actually looking at and making sure that you're only using disposable income, income that if you lose it, it doesn't affect your lifestyle. Um, once a coin is listed, if it is on an, uh, an exchange that you feel comfortable with that exchange, you've done business with that exchange, and you know that it's a reputable exchange, then watch it closely because if that volume drops too low, it will get delisted. And if it's no longer on, you know, I've had a, I, I, I've had a couple of different cryptocurrencies that suddenly got delisted from the exchange that I was using for most of my cryptocurrency. And when they got delisted, I had to scramble to find an exchange they were still being traded on. And I quickly got onto those exchanges and sold those coins and got rid of them, even though I had to take a loss in them 
because I didn't want to run the risk that they're no longer on those smaller exchanges out there and that I eventually got to a point where I couldn't find anybody to buy it from me. Therefore, my coins were dead. So uh, just be careful. Cryptocurrency is not this get rich quick thing and it's not something that, that you need to, you, 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 you have to manage it and watch it and be careful with it because that's real money that you've invested and you don't want to lose it. So do your best to make sure that you're only investing in solid projects. Be sure to research them out and check them out thoroughly. Um, even if it's a top 10 coin. Um, and here's why. One of the things that you can do to find out if a coin is a strong coin or a weak coin is most cryptocurrencies are open source projects and a lot of them are on GitHub. Now, if you're not familiar with GitHub, what GitHub is, it's a place where programmers and developers, I'm a programmer, will write their code and the code gets uploaded into GitHub and then GitHub has a repository for that code so that as changes occur over time, you can always revert back to earlier versions of your code um, all the way back to the first version that was uploaded into GitHub. And so, even, so there's some cryptocurrency projects that are out there and you can see that over the last six months, there's been a thousand changes or 2,000 changes or 10,000 changes where people have been making improvements to it and they've uploaded their new version and that became one of the changes. And, and then over a, a period of weeks or months, you can see that there's you know, a large group of developers. In fact, some of the cryptocurrencies out there have as many as 100 or 150, 200 different developers that are working on that one project. And there's lots and lots of changes that are happening out there on GitHub. Um, but there's other cryptocurrencies, and I'm talking about there's a handful of cryptocurrencies in the top 10 of, uh, based off of coin market cap, based off of their market cap, uh, that they don't have any developers working on the project. For six months, you see zero changes being checked into GitHub. And when you're seeing zero changes, that means there are no developers that are actively improving that cryptocurrency. Now, for a while, that'll be okay. It'll be fine that, you know, if they've got a cryptocurrency that's in the top 10, it's there because it's working. So it's not like you have to be making changes. But if they're not, most cryptocurrencies out there have a long list of things that they're doing and they're going to be releasing to the public in the future. And if nobody's working on it, then all those lists of things that haven't been completed are not getting completed. They won't get developed if there's nobody out there making changes and improvement to the code. And so those coins in the top 10 or the top 100 or the top 1,000 that aren't getting changes made to their code, uh, they're, they're somewhat dead coins. They're somewhat dead in the water. And if they don't get picked up, they quite likely could become a dead coin in the future. So anyway, I, I don't mean to scare you, but I do want to alert you. I want you to have your eyes wide open. I want you to realize that, hey, just because that new fancy WYSIBANG coin is only listed out there for one penny or even a fraction of a penny, it doesn't mean it's a good investment for your money. Dig deeper. Do your own research. You're smarter than you realize, but find out more about that project before you start putting your hard-earned dollars into it, you know. Um, so I want to thank you for listening today. I hope you're having a fantastic day, like I said at the beginning. And I, I want you to tell me how I can be a service uh, with you. If you disagree with what I've said, uh, I would love to hear from you. That's how we learn. I, I can only, if, if the only people I ever talk to are people that agree with you, agree with me, I'm not going to learn anything new. And so if you disagree with me or you want to communicate with me at all, I've got a link at the bottom of this video that you can privately communicate to me using a Google uh, form. 
created a Google form so that you can communicate with me. If you don't want me to re respond back, then don't give me your email address. Or you can add an email addre address to the form and I will reply back to you. On the flip side of the coin, you can always leave comments below. I'm interested in hearing your polite disagreements, so feel free, please leave them. Or if you wanna just make any other kind of general comment, I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. In the meantime, like, subscribe, and hodl. I hope you have a fantastic day.